Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make those triangle images that you've seen all around the web. Well, you're going to be able to create them so that you can access them in Photoshop. Before we get started with this video tutorial, let's look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. I'm going to show you how you can create one of these triangle images to use in Photoshop. Now the actual image is created from a photograph and I'm going to show you how to get the application that you're going to use to do it and how to convert it. And then because it comes in as an SVG image, I'm going to show you how you can convert that so that you can create it in a file format that you can actually use in Photoshop. But I'm going to take you all the way through to doing this in Photoshop so that you're going to end up with this triangle image. And it is very, very simple and very, very quick and you don't have to draw a shape to do it. And then once we get it into Photoshop, I'm going to show you how you can recolor it. So that's basically what we're going to do. And so if you're ready, let's get started. To create this effect in Photoshop, we're going to use a tool called Triangulator. And it's available at a website called somestuff.ru forward slash i. And I'll have the link here in the video for you. You'll scroll down the page until you locate this link here where it says you can download sources here. Click and download the source file. Now it's a really, really small file, so it's going to download really, really quickly. And I'm going to just click here and choose Show in Folder. And this opens my Downloads folder, and this is the download. I'm going to double click it to open it. And you'll see that I have two folders, a Mac OS X folder and a Triangulator folder. Now we can't do anything with this as it is right now because we have to extract all the files first. So I'm going to double click to extract the files. Now I'm just going to extract mine into my Downloads folder, but you'll probably want to put this in a safe place, such as in your Programs folder or in your My Documents or something where you can find it later on. And I'm just going to click to extract. And here are all the files extracted into a folder. I'm going to open the Triangulator folder, and this is what I've come here for. I need this index.html file. So I'm just going to double click it, and that will open it inside Chrome. Now, you should see this when you open that index.html file. And if you don't, the problem is that your browser doesn't have API support. So you need to use a browser that does have API support. I'm using Chrome. It has that support. So we're going to operate this little triangulator application inside the browser. And because you've downloaded all of this onto your computer, it's going to be available to you anytime. It's just that it runs in a browser. It's not actually a web application. It's just a browser application. So we need to drag and drop a bitmap into here. Now I have a bitmap image on my desktop. So I'm just going to drop it in here. And it's just a very simple little image of a flower. And for these, something fairly plain but with some colors in it is a really good idea to use because you're going to get some of these colors in your triangles. Now we have some options here. This is the opacity slider. I don't generally use that. We're going to export to SVG, but not right now. Delete all vertices. Well, we don't have any vertices to delete yet, but we're going to add some in just a second. We're going to add 25 random ones. So I'm just going to click here on randomly. And that adds my first 25 vertices. Now I can just click in here to divide these up. And as I divide them up, you can see that they're sourcing colors from the underlying image. And that's why I bought in an image that had some really lovely colors in it. This is sort of full of purples and greens and just really nice soft colors. Now all I'm doing is clicking here to create my little triangle. So everything I click or drag is going to create triangles for me. So I'm just going to try and take this out pretty close to the edges of the image so I don't lose anything too much here. And these are having a bit of trouble sticking down. And because we're working in Photoshop in a minute, we're not going to get a lot of options for recoloring and working with this. So you'll probably want to make sure that you're pretty happy with it before you leave Triangulator. 
If we were working with Illustrator, things would be just a little bit different because of the more superior colouring options in Illustrator and that these would all be vector shapes in Illustrator. But in Photoshop, that's not going to be the case. So I'm just clicking wherever I want here. I can move these by dragging on the middle piece, but really just all I want right now is lots and lots of triangles. And the more triangles that I have, of course, the more it's going to be closer to the underlying image. So we're going to start to see potentially some sort of maybe even a little bit of detail from the underlying image if we had lots and lots of triangles, but I'm not going to make that many. So once I'm happy with this, once I'm happy with the triangles that I've got, I'm ready to proceed. But if you get to this stage and think, mm, don't like this, well, just delete all your vertices and start over. Now I'm ready to go to the next step and the next step is to export to SVG. So I'm going to click here on export to SVG. And then I want to click save this link as file. And this is the file that I'm going to save. So I'm just going to right click now and choose save as. And then I'm going to put it somewhere. So I've got a folder here. Well, let's just dump it in this textures folder. That'll be fine for now. And it's just called download SVG. I just need to be able to find it. So I'm going to click save. Now we've got our SVG image saved to disk, but the problem is that Photoshop can't handle SVG images. So we're going to need to convert it. So what I suggest that you do is use a tool called cloudconvert.org. Now at cloudconvert.org, you can convert SVG images to EPS images, which is a format that Photoshop can handle. So I'm going to click on Select Files and I'm going to go and open up my download SVG file. And so this is going to be the one I'm going to convert. And I want to send it to my Dropbox account. So I've set up my Dropbox account so that it can be linked to Cloud Convert. And the format I'm going to use is a vector format EPS. And now I'm ready. I'm just going to click to start the conversion. And it's converted and uploaded into my Dropbox account. So I'm just waiting to download it into Dropbox. And as soon as it's downloaded, we're ready to add it to Photoshop. I'm finished with my browser right now, so I can close my browser down. Now the Dropbox download is now complete. So here's my Cloud Convert folder in my Dropbox account. And here is my download EPS file. I can just drag and drop it into Photoshop to open it. And here is the image. So this is my triangles image, which was created by Triangulator in my browser. I then saved it as an SVG file, uploaded it to Cloud Connect to convert it to an EPS file that I could use in Photoshop. Now that might seem to be a little bit cumbersome, but believe me, once you've done it once or twice, it's just going to be second nature and it's going to be extremely simple. Now I'm going to start out by just cropping this image so that I remove the edges that are a little bit uneven and in some cases white or transparent. So I'm just going to select this as my crop and click OK. And now if I wanted to recolor this, we could recolor it in Photoshop. I'm just going to grab my Layers palette. Let's just drag it over here. And to recolor it, I can add a hue saturation adjustment layer. So I'll choose Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Hue Saturation, and just click OK. And what this does is it allows me to adjust the colors in the image. And I can rotate these around. So as I drag on this slider, I'm just rotating around the colors in the image and adding different colors to it. So that's one way that you could, if you wanted to, recolor this image to get different colors within it. You could also go to individual channels. So you could go to, for example, the greens channel and take the greens in a different direction and do something perhaps different with the pinks and so on. 
but you'll see that there is some possibility within Photoshop to recolor the image. But there basically is your triangle image created in Triangulator and now in Photoshop ready for you to do whatever it is that you want to do with it. When you're selecting your images, I suggest that you choose an image that has the kind of colors that you want to see in your triangles and that you choose something that's relatively abstract and relatively simple so that you get these really nice clean results. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more video tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.